Today before you we have three graphics cards. The original Quadro I bought back in 2017, which is a second revision with single-sided memory. The second one is the GeForce 7800 GT. I installed in my first video which you can watch here. Apple OEM single slot profile. It has worked great and I'm very happy, but today we will not talk about those two. This is the Quadro FX 4500, Apple OEM double sided memory version. It was hard to find, but after checking that the back plate was the correct one, I purchased it via eBay and here it is. I've already checked it works. So before we do a permanent installation, let's dismantle it and clean the old thermal compound and change the thermal pads while I bore you with tech specs. The card I'm replacing and the new one both have a G70 core, but the Quadro runs at 430 MHz instead of 400, and it has doubled the VRAM, 512 MB, running at 525 MHz instead of the 7800's 500, but being double rate memory, it effectively runs at 1050 megahertz and pricing the GeForce was $449 when it released in 2005 which is at the time of this recording $579.37 in today's money the Quadro on the other hand was $2499 which is $3244.59 in 2018 it was a workstation card meant for professionals only, just like today's Quadros. The GeForce was pretty cheap for me, I spent 25 euros and 61 cents on it, and the Quadro was 938, 938 euros for a 2500 dollar card from 2005. I have to say, that kind of things really amaze me. So with the card all clean up, it's time to throw it on the G5 Quad and compare it to the card it's replacing. Minecraft is not affected. Maybe you can spot some differences, but being a Java powered game, CPU is the bottleneck here. So the GPU hardly affects it. And Warcraft 3, while still looking gorgeous, was already running at more than 100 FPS, so let's throw something more stressful. I will finish the hunt. Quake 4. It runs on the E-Tech 4 engine, and although the CPU might be a little bit of a bottleneck, we can see quite a difference from the upgrade. It's nothing like night and day maybe, but we can see a 10% increase in frame rate. I'm running the game at max settings at 1080p, which was not the norm back in 2005. So seeing the game get over 30 FPS, even hit 60 sometimes, on this hardware configuration is pretty impressive. But maybe it's not enough for you to make the upgrade from GeForce to Quadro. For me it is, I am a total loser for bragging rights, but let me know your opinion. Holy shit! This is some ride, eh buddy? Who's the new guy? Matthew Kane. One certified badass. A man like Kane could get us killed. I'll show you the same section of gameplay with both cars, so you can get a better taste. Be sure to tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. The same story repeats with Doom 3, which also runs on the E-Tech 4 engine. 
I would show you some gameplay, but the intro is so long I didn't feel like losing an hour just for 30 seconds of footage. But there, you can see the same 10% increase in performance. Let's switch to something more demanding, like a simulator. Firing up X-Play 9, ooh, we can see it's not good with the 7800, but cause is pretty simple actually. If we go into the settings, we can see that the loaded textures are 410 megabytes. So our 256 megabytes of VRAM won't suffice here, making a style back a notch in texture quality. So a game reset and there we are, fluid game playback again. The game will play with extreme textures, but as they don't fit in VRAM, the game will use system RAM, which is much slower for our purposes. The game plays ok, at least in simulation standards. So how will the Quadro do with the extra VRAM? As you might imagine, great! Now we're loaded with the highest textures and the frame rate is even higher than with the 7800 with that extra load. It's amazing what an upgrade can do. And you can see how x was well optimized and designed for professional use. To finish off, let's fire some open source goodness, Sour Braden. I'm on medium high settings and the game runs fine, but the thing I found almost every time I play is that when I finish some sections of a level, the game will crash trying to load the next section. Yeah, that's annoying. So will the Quadro fix it? Actually, yeah. I didn't think it would, but now it does not crash when killing the last enemy, and I can continue on playing no problem. Until I die, because I suck at this game, and rage quit anyway. So yeah, that's it for today. I'm very happy to finally have a completely maxed out G5 quad, and I'll probably do more videos with it. But that's all time I have today. Thanks for watching, and I hope we meet again soon. Bye bye.